Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be baking. I'm gonna show you my super healthy banana bread recipe. This recipe is gluten-free, it's refined sugar-free, and the ingredients are all very simple and healthy, and it's really easy and straightforward to make. So I'm very excited to share this with you guys, and let's get started. Okay, so these are all of the ingredients that you will need. I will make sure to have all of this written down below in the description box for you guys. But you will need one cup of oats and then one cup of gluten-free flour so i've gone for almond flour today but you can also use coconut flour rice flour or any type of flour that you like but i feel like almond is really good then you will also need one cup of walnuts i personally love a crunchy nutty texture to our banana bread and then you will need half a cup of dark chocolate chips a splash of almond milk i like to get Get one without sugar so it's very um, simple and minimal ingredients you will also need just a pinch of salt some cinnamon this is cardamom I personally love cardamom but again you can leave this out if you don't have it but cinnamon is really the most important and then I have two teaspoons of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda and then some vanilla extract you will also need some coconut oil one egg and a very large cup of of chopped dates this is how we're going to be sweetening our banana bread without using any real sugar I will be making a paste out of this which I'm going to show you guys how to do it's very simple you just put it in a blender with some water so you get the sweetness but you also get all of the goodness and the nutrients of the dates like the fiber the minerals the vitamins so it's sweet but you still get some of that goodness and of course you also need some bananas you want to make sure that you use very very ripe bananas so bananas that have nice spots on them that ensures that they are ready to be eaten and that they also have a nice sweetness to them so first you want to start by preheating your oven to about 180 degrees Celsius which is about 350 degrees Fahrenheit so first for the date paste, I've got my heaping cup of dates. I've just sliced these in half and taken out the seed inside. This is my food processor, but you could also use a blender. So I'm just going to put the dates in here. And you want to add just a dash of water just to allow it to blend a little bit easier. So when it's done, it should look something like this. So nice and creamy and blended. Okay, so first we are going to mash up all of our bananas in a large bowl, something like this. You can just use a fork for this. If you have a potato masher for like mashed potatoes, you can use that as well. But a fork tends to work pretty good for this. Okay, so now you want to add all of your wet ingredients to the bananas. So I have my half a cup of melted coconut oil, one egg, and then one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then just a little dash of almond milk. I'm going to put about one tablespoon. And then just mix all of that together. Next, you want to add in your date paste. So it should look something like this. So you want to set this aside and take a, another bowl and we're going to put in all of our dry ingredients in here. So I've got my almond flour, my oats, my baking powder and baking soda. Then I'm going to do one tablespoon of cinnamon. And about one teaspoon of cardamom. And I'm just going to mix that together. And lastly, I'm just going to add in my walnuts and the dark chocolate chips. And we also just need a pinch of salt as well. Mm -hmm. 
then I'm just gonna put about half of the dry mixture into the wet mixture and blend that together. And then lastly, you just wanna pour your mixture into your baking tin. Make sure that you have it lined with some parchment paper. And now you can top it with some more chocolate chips if you want. I also like to put a few more nuts on top. So these are a few more of the walnuts. And lastly, some coconut flakes. Okay, so our banana bread is ready to bake. It already looks so good. It smells amazing. And I love that the ingredients are all just so nice and healthy. So I've just put the banana bread into the oven. It's gonna stay there for about 50 to 60 minutes. You just wanna make sure that you can put a toothpick in and that the toothpick comes out dry before you take it out of the oven. So that's when you know that it's done, but it's about 50 to 60 minutes. And just warning you, your apartment or your home is gonna smell so good in about like 20 minutes from now. It's like the best home scented candle ever. <laughs> Okay, so it's been about an hour. I've just taken the banana bread out of the oven. Looks so good. So now it's really important that you let the banana bread cool for about half an hour. At this point, I know that it's so tempting to just cut a piece and have it, but it's gonna be a lot better once it's cool. The shape is gonna solidify a little bit more and it's gonna be easier to slice. It's been about 30 minutes now since it's been cooling down and I can feel that it's, I think it's ready to, to slice now. Okay, taste test. so good do you feel like it tastes different like healthy or do you still think that it's like really good <laughs> like really really good it's really good tastes like i'm not doing anything bad yeah it's like i can eat can a whole cake no it feels like you can you can eat a whole cake without feeling guilty mm. Mm. what i love is that it's still a little bit moist Mm -hmm. It's not too dry. Yeah. And then you have the walnuts, which is a bit crunchy. It took a lot of trial and error to actually make this recipe the consistency that it is because I couldn't actually find a completely sugar-free and or refined sugar-free recipe. So I made this by myself. Is this piece I'm very of, proud. It's a piece of chocolate there? Yeah, it's dark chocolate chips. Okay, try this one. Mm. You know mm. what I like? I like the crunchy nuts. Mm-hmm. Again, I will make sure to have all of the ingredients and the directions for how to make this down below in the description box. If you do make this, definitely let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think of it. And let me know if you want to see more baking videos like this uh, for healthy recipes or like healthy desserts. I can do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all having a really nice day. And I will see you on Wednesday for a new video. Mwah.